day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to take you to SketchUp for Schools, and we're going to try and make ourselves a sweet little playground ship that we may even be able to print. So, let's get cracking. First step is to get to SketchUp for Schools, but I cannot get it to stay on our school's allowed list. So what I've done for you is I've created a spot on my website, hlmodtech.com, where I've stored the entire set of lessons that I've got for you. And when you get to this site, you can click this link to launch the G Suite for schools. You can see my school, for some reason, it says disabled. No matter how many times I've got them to try and enable it, we cannot get it to stick. When the program launches, the default template is feet and inches, but if I'm ever 3D printing, the last thing I want to do is feet and inches because my printer's not that big. So I'd like you to go to Simple Template Millimeters. Before we ever get working, we should always save. Let's choose the file name, ship, and then I'm going to put my initials after it. And then remember with SketchUp, you click and release, and then choose Select to put it in the folder where you're gonna store it. I have no need for this gentleman in the middle, so I'm gonna just click delete. Step one of our sweet ship is to find the rectangle tool. Move to the origin, click let go of the mouse on the keyboard type 100 comma 80 so that our dimensions look exactly like that. The next trick is the line tool. Move along the front edge until it shows you the cyan midpoint Stretch it out and type the number 50. Go from one corner back to the other to connect that, and then go from the opposite side and connect to the point. Hit the Erase tool or the letter E on the keyboard if you prefer shortcuts to erase those little pieces. Change to the Push-Pull tool. Click on that body and let go of the mouse so that it's adjustable. Type the number 30 so it's got a perfect height for our project. With the select tool, grab the entire project or triple click if you prefer that method. Click on the move tool, click on the end point and lift it straight up and type 50 for the height of the hull of our ship. The hull is looking pretty sweet, but now we've got to do the tough one where we draw the bottom of the hull. Click your select tool and select just the bottom. Switch to the offset tool and then grab and hold so that offset starts to look a little bit like that and then type the number 15 so it snaps to the perfect size. With your select tool, click the center of that shape. Click on the move tool, choose move, go to the corner in the back, move a little bit and tap control to enable copy mode and we want to tap alt and we want to go straight down until we hit the number 50, which is on the blue axis. When you do that, click and your ship will now have a perfect ship hull that you can work on. That step may take you a few tries, and if you're in a classroom, make sure that you help other people. If you ever have a mistake, make sure you do Control z to undo and then just give it another try. Let's look at the top of our ship, and let's do the walls that would help keep the children from falling out. Using the offset tool, we can click on that center edge, make it wiggly, and then type the number four to lock in that measurement. Return to our friend the line tool, move along that edge until you see the cyan midpoint, and then come to the other side and once again also move across until you see the cyan midpoint. We'll use the push-pull tool to give a deck to the ship when you pull down, just type 25 and press enter so that it locks to the exact size. It's going to help us later with a entryway and a plank. Let's use our orbit tool to get a look at it from the front. Let's use our orbit tool to get a look at it from the front. And right now we're going to make the cabin using another rectangle. If your rectangle accidentally goes across like that, Simply tap control to get into the mode where it comes up the red axis. And then we're going to type 72 comma 50 for our measurements. You'll notice it fills in the front of my ship. We're going to fix that by simply clicking on the front and deleting that piece. 
take your push pull tool and we are going to push pull this building back to that very corner. Notice I'm taking the red tip. This is the incorrect corner. We want to go to that corner. Orbit to the front of your ship, scroll back if you need to, and switch to that amazing offset tool. Click the front and drag a little bit. When you let go, type the number 5 and it will automatically snap to the perfect dimensions. Return to push pull. I'm going to push in my scroll wheel so I can see this corner right here. And I'm going to push pull and see that red arrow? I'm going to take that red arrow to the edge of that wall and it snaps and cuts it out perfectly. I'm going to go to the offset tool again. I'm going to click on this wall and hold a little bit. When I let go, I'm going to type the number 5. And it allows me to push pull it through as well. I'm going to use the letter P so it goes to push pull faster and then I'm going to take this corner right to that end point. Spacebar lets me select that piece and delete it so now it is cut out beautifully. I'm also going to delete this line to clean up my project as well. I'm going to go to this side and repeat those steps once again first with the offset where I click hold let go type the number 5 and press enter. Let's orbit so we can use push-pull on this corner. Now I'm going to do P for push-pull, and the reason I orbited was so that I could take that red tip and touch it to that point so that it cut out the exact right amount. Select tool, space bar, click it, delete it, click the line, and now my cabin, where the kids can play, is complete. I need to add a roof to this shape. We're going to do that super quickly just using the pencil tool moving across till it gives that cyan midpoint doing the same thing in the back switching to the move tool selecting that center row lifting it on the blue axis and I'm gonna type 30 for the height of my ship's cabin our project now looks like a nifty little pirate ship and I would like you to click save and if you're in my classroom, this is the first screenshot I need you to turn in, proving that you've gotten to this part of the project. Alrighty friends, thank you for completing this part of the project. There will be a part two on the way where we finish up our playground ship. But if you made it to this point and you like the video, please hit that like button. If you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.